All right, it's time. We are going to start the install for the lights. This doesn't go on top here, but it goes underneath. The firing mode soon come. We got the torsion bar re-indexed, and now I just need to install the front spacers. Big shout out to uh, DanMFG at DanMFG.com. Link in the description for the risers. I bought the 38 millimeter ones, but he offers them in uh, one inch, one and a half, and two. I'm sure he would cut them any way you want. So I'm gonna take, start with taking these sway bar mounts off because that will allow me to swing the control arms lower. 13 millimeters to remove these sway bar mount. The, actually, I might remove the top nut first and then the strut mount and try to get it all out because we're going to need to cut these studs out and drill them out to replace them with longer bolts to make up for the spacer length. I have uh, Coney Yellows installed, so what we have to do is a 22 millimeter wrench and a 11 millimeter socket. nuts. Okay, I'm just going to assume that it's going to be easier to get this whole assembly out, compress the spring, and then slot the shock up to the top, mount it to the top, and then reconnect it to the knuckle. So I'm going to take these two 19 millimeter bolts off. You're going to need to remove this one from the nut side because it's an eccentric bolt that adjusts your camber, and you don't want to just spin that freely in here. <clears throat> 17 millimeters. nut is 19, the bolt is 17. Alright, so we have alternated getting our spring pressers on, spring compressors on. Now I can get the top hat on. Oops, that's just... Hit it with the old 22 mil offset wrench and the uh, hold it with the 13, 11 I mean. Alright, right, I just had an epiphany. We could totally install this mount. Like so.
lessons learned, I would put the, uh, the strut mount with the spacer in before you get the center of the strut into the shock. It is easier if you remove your brake caliper to access the lower strut bolts. Uh, this way you can sneak the shock in from the bottom, get the bottom shock bolt in, and then get the top strut nut on. I will insert the torque specs for the lower shock mount. Um, these are gonna be, they should be the same. And then this guy, I just snugged up as tight as I could without feeling like I was gonna snap anything, but probably like, I don't know, 25, 30 foot pounds. With that, we should be on our way to reassembly. 18 foot pounds for these four nuts. The lower is uh, 74 foot pounds and 